Interesting education tonight. Some growing pains for Clay County schools as new housing developments pop up basically like weeds room and schools just run it out. First Coast News has learned that one of the largest high schools in the district is over its capacity. On your side, Troy Kless is joining us live with the district's solution to this problem. Yeah, that's right. Currently, Oak Leaf High School, again, the newest in the county, which was built around 10 years ago, again, over its limit currently here. If you want to just take a look at the school behind me now, I spoke to a student here earlier this afternoon and they say that even despite the COVID-19 pandemic, students are taking notice of the crowds in the classroom. Students leaving for the day at Oakleaf High School. Akia Gray, a junior, says this year has been like no other because of COVID. I feel like it's just a big adjustment. And I feel like this year it's not as fun. Like everyone gets inside for the junior prom, first time going prom, hockey, football games. We can't do that like that no more. She says the growth can impact the learning. It's harder to learn because when you have a teacher that's trying to make sure everyone gets it, she doesn't have t enough time to focus on each individual child that's not getting it. She has to hurry up, teach a lesson, and move on since there's so many of them. Currently, the school is at 106% capacity. James Fossa with Clay County School says the plan is to move students in the Fox Meadow area from Oakleaf High to Ridgeview High School. Oakleaf High experiencing exponential growth, he says. I'm talking to the principal. He said that he's got teachers and in every room possible that he can to try to get teachers into. Uh, it's a space issue as well, and we don't have, again, we don't want to be adding portables We don't to, to a school that already has 38. It would impact more than 300 students and rising seniors won't be affected. Schools remain full despite the pandemic. Clay County School says at the start of the semester, nearly 30,000 kids are going to brick and mortar, around 90% of their student body. Gray's wishes for more teachers to help those dealing with dozens of students. She also thinks a different social setting would be an adjustment. We got these masks that so we already don't want to talk, so you feel isolated and alone. If someone took me out of school and told me to go to a whole different school where I don't know nobody, I'll be, I'll feel sad. Like, I'll be socially awkward. I don't know anybody there. Now, this change would take effect for the upcoming school year. And in talking with the district, they say during a community meeting, they held that the feedback to this proposal has been positive. The school board expected to vote on it at their next meeting in March. We're live in Clay County. Troy Kless, First Coast News on your side.